Hi guys, this video is all about difference between um, Spark session versus Spark context versus SQL context. So many of you will be confused of what actually a Spark session is or when to use Spark context or when to use SQL context and so on. So let us try to understand these entry points in detail in this video. In the big data era, the Apache Spark is probably one of the most popular technologies as it offers a unified engine for processing enormous amount of data in a reasonable amount of time. So in this video, I'll try to explain about the various entry point for Spark applications and how these have evolved over the different releases. So let us try to understand the Spark basic structures and terminologies before moving into the difference between the entry points. So this is actually the Spark architecture. So the Spark application, it consists of a driver program and a group of executors on the cluster. So the driver is a process that executes the main program of your Spark application and creates a Spark context that coordinates execution of jobs. So the executors or processes running on the worker nodes of the cluster, which are responsible for executing the tasks the driver program processes has assigned to them. So the cluster manager is responsible for the allocation of physical resources to the Spark applications. So let us start about the entry point. Every Spark application needs an entry point that allows it to communicate with different data sources and perform certain operations such as reading and writing the data. So in Spark 1.x, three entry points were introduced. Those were called as Spark context, SQL context and Hive context. Since the release of Spark 2.x, a new entry point called as a Spark session has been introduced that essentially combined all the functionalities available in the uh, entry points of Spark 1.x. These contexts are still available even in the newest Spark releases, mostly for the background compatibility purposes. Okay, let us try to understand each of these entry points in detail. First comes the Spark context. So the Spark context, it is used by the driver program of the Spark application in order to establish a communication with the cluster and the resource manager in order to coordinate and execute the jobs. Spark context also enables the access to other two contexts, namely SQL context and the Hive context. So below is the PySpark code in order to initialize the Spark context. So from PySpark, you just import Spark context and Spark conf. So, and then you are um, invoking the Spark conf function and this you are setting up the app name and set master as local. So what does the set master as local mean? Local of star means Spark learns locally with as many worker threads as logical cores in your machine. And this Spark app name is nothing but the application name for your Spark application. Next comes the SQL context. This SQL context is the entry point to the Spark SQL, which is a Spark module for structured data processing. Once the SQL context is initialized, the users can then use it in order to perform the various SQL-like operations over the data sets and the data frame. So in order to create the SQL context, you first need to initiate the Spark context as shown below. So from PySpark, we are importing the Spark context and Spark on. It is same as the above. And in addition to that, from PySpark.SQL, we are importing the SQL context. And this is same as the conf, con, creating the conf with app name and set it to local if you're running on your local. Next comes the Hive context. If your Spark application needs to communicate with Hive and you're using Spark version which is less than 2.x, then you will probably need to have a Hive context. For Spark 1.5 plus versions, Hive context of also offers support for Windows function. So the same way you are invoking the Spark context and the Hive context and you can perform any Hive specific functions. 
Next, in the Spark 2.x version, the Spark session was introduced that also offers the Hive support. Native window functions were released and essentially replaced the Hive UDFs with the native Spark SQL UDF functions. So what is a Spark session? Spark 2.0 introduced a new entry point called as a Spark session that essentially replaced both SQL context and the Hive context. Additionally, it gives to the developers the immediate access to the Spark context. In order to create a Spark session with Hive support, you just need to do this. So from PySpark.SQL import Spark session and then Spark session dot builder enable Hive support invoke the get or create function. Below are the two ways you can access the Spark context from Spark session. So in this video, we went through the older entry points that were made available in the early releases of Spark. We also seen about the newest entry point, namely the Spark session. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye.